Hello friends, in the previous session we just introduced ourselves to the statement of feminine equivalent and we did a simple problem to understand how the theorem works actually. Now in this uh, session we will be introducing Norton's theorem and we will be understanding how to apply Norton's theorem as well. Before we begin <coughs> Norton's theorem, let us see the problem that we had discussed in the last session. This was the problem and you had to find the Thevenin uh, equivalent as seen by Rn. Now let me tell you, if you want to find the Norton's equivalent, if you want to find the Norton's equivalent, you can actually find it directly from the Thevenin's equivalent because the Norton's equivalent is nothing but a current source in parallel with the resistor. So once you have find the Thevenin equivalent, all you have to do is a source transformation here. So by doing a source transformation, I will get 8 by 9 amperes in parallel with this particular 9 ohms and this will be my Rn. Right? Then you might think, what is the use of studying Norton's theorem? Okay? So you can just find the Thevenin equivalent because most of the equals are uh, good with voltages than currents. You can find the uh, Thevenin equivalent and you can just use a source transformation to find the Norton equivalent. That is true. In fact, the problem can be solved in that way also. But in some cases, especially when dependent sources are involved, finding R Thevenin is not an easy task. Finding this particular thing, especially when dependent source come into play, so that another definition of RTH will come in terms of Thevenin voltage and Norton current, this particular current and Thevenin voltage. So that is much more uh, advantageous for us. Therefore, you should understand to solve Thevenin equivalent as well as Norton equivalent because problems are not going to be easy. Nobody is going to give you a direct problem. The problems will be difficult in competitive exams. So you should be in acquainted with both Thevenin and Norton. So to un acquaint get uh, uh, ourselves acquainted, we have to understand what is Norton's theorem and therefore we have to go through the statement. Now this is a statement. It is quite a big statement which I have written. But of course, the first part is entirely the Thevenin equivalent. So it's not going to be a big deal. So this is the Norton's theorem. So given any linear circuits, rearrange it into form network A and network B. That is same. Connected by two wires, that is also same. Now, here is the difference. What you have to do is you have to define a current ISC or I short circuit, short circuit current that appears, that appears when B is disconnected. In the last Thevenin equivalent, it was an open circuit voltage when B was disconnected. Here, it is a short circuit current which flows through the terminals of A when they are short circuited. So in the last case, you disconnected B and you found out the open circuit voltage. In this case, you will be disconnecting B, you will be shorting the terminal of A and then you will be finding what is the current through the terminal. All right. Now, this is till this point. Now in the last definition, I had not incorporated this, but I thought I will incorporate it in this Norton's definition. The same thing is valid there also. Then all the current and voltages in B network B all right will be unchanged will be unchanged if all the independent sources are killed in network A all the independent sources are killed in network A and an independent source ISC is connected in proper polarity in parallel with dead network A what does that statement mean all right so you have decided you have what you have done is that you have splitted your circuit into network A and network B all right then you have done an short circuit in the terminal A and you have found out the value of ISC. So what this particular statement, the end statement means is that you disconnect it again, all right? You disconnect it again. And if this is your network B, the voltage and current will be unchanged, all right? If you replace the network A with the current source, which is ISC, which you have found out here by shorting the terminal with the dead network, what is the dead network? You have con you have destroyed all the independent sources, and when you destroy all the independent sources, you can easily find a you can easily find a resistive equivalent. You can easily find a resistive equivalent. So that's what is given in this statement. So you replace it with the resistive equivalent, or uh, what they have they have taken here in parallel with the dead network A. So you are replacing the entire circuit with a current source in parallel with the dead network A. That means you have destroyed all the sources and that will be giving you the R Norton and that will be across the load resistance. I know that you are confused now, but if you do a simple problem, you will be able to understand the statement which I have told here. I will go through the statement when I do the problem. All right. 
okay yeah now you have to find the thevenin and norton equivalent for the network faced by the 1k resistor that means faced by the 1k resistor means your 1k is going to be the network b so let us divide it into network b and this is going to be your network a so network a you are going to make it into the thevenin and the norton all right so let us take thevenin first all right thevenin so in thevenin let me just make a copy of the circuit i might have to i might have to just use it a couple of times okay now by thevenin what we have to first do is that what do we do first as per procedure you disconnect this particular thing here all right and uh, what do you do you first find the voc across the terminal a so you find this particular value plus voc okay now what is voc now here clearly i can find voc by number of techniques which i have learned till now all right i can use a source transformer anything i get but i prefer a node analysis so this particular voltage will be v and this v is nothing but equal to voc because there is no current which is going to flow the through the open circuit path therefore this potential will be same as this potential all right if you want you can apply a kvl and you can finally confirm anyway i am not going to do that so let us write a uh, kcl equation here so v minus 4 divided by 2k i'll just put 2 because this is in milliamperes volt by uh, k is milliamperes minus 2 this current and uh, that's it right so here there is no current so it's equal to 0 therefore v will be equal to 8 volts all right so v is equal to 8 volts so voc is equal to 8 volts that is nothing but the thevenin resistance all right now next is finding the rth let's next is finding the thevenin resistance so where sh should i find the thevenin resistance i should find the thevenin resistance as seen from this direction right because here you have disconnected and kept your 1k so what does 1k see as seen from the, the 1k side all right so i have to find the r thevenin so first i have to kill my voltage source so i am going to short it like this all right and then i have to kill my current source which i am going to open circuit like this all right okay so what is the equivalent resistance let us see so if the current is going like this it is in series and it's going to come like this so the equivalent resistance will be rth will be equal to 3 plus 2 equal to 5k all right therefore the third step is putting the equivalent circuit so it will be 8 volts in series with the thevenin resistance which is 5k i hope you don't have any doubts in this here i'll just rub this also all right so this is the short circuit here you can clearly see that the effective resistance is 5k because 2 and 3 are in series all right so this is my thevenin equivalent network a i have com completed it successfully and this is the 1k and you can find all sorts of things for this 1k power voltage current anything you if you want you can easily find it using this circuit all right so what will be the norton equivalent of this particular circuit it will be direct 8 divided by 5 amperes all right and this will be 5k and this is the equivalent circuit norton's equivalent this is 1k so this is the norton's equivalent and this is the thevenin's equivalent all right but we are not here to find norton's in this method i have just told you that i should not find norton's by this method i should use the proper procedure all right so let us take the next page and do the proper procedure of course you will get the answer in that way also but for another thing i need this all right so now we are going to find the norton equivalent so as the first is to divide it into two network network a and network b that is already done so network a and network b have been divided so the second step is finding isc so how do you find isc you remove this as usual always the network b is removed and you make a short circuit here all right and this current isc you have to find all right how you can find that you apply simple node analysis so again i get v minus 4 divided by 2 all right minus 2 okay and uh, what will be this current this current will be isc plus isc equal to 0 but however isc itself is equal to v divided by 3k 
so 4 minus 2 minus 2 plus v divided by 3k equal to 0. So let me see what I will get the value of v equal to here. So in this case v will be equal to <coughs> 24 divided by 5. Alright, that means ISC will be equal to 24 divided by 5 into 3. So it is 8 by 5. And I have already found it out in the previous question that it is going to be 8, five, eight by 5. Alright, and finding the, so you have got the ISC, right? And uh, then you kill the network. All right. So let me remove this. All right. Let me just kill the network. Killing the network means I am killing this current source by a uh, short circuit, so open circuit, and the voltage source I am going to replace by a short circuit. So this particular resistance I have to make it in parallel with the uh, current source. But that is how can I make this proper? So I have to put up an equivalent circuit. So that is the meaning now this entire network A which is dead now I am going to replace it by an R equivalent. So what is that R equivalent? It is equal to 2 plus 3 equal to 5k. Alright. So the last point of that statement was putting up the alright. So the last statement was drawing the circuit. So this is the current source 8 by 5 amperes ISC alright and this is the dead network this is going to be the dead network that is 5k and this is my 1k all right and this is my north and cm exactly you can find that i have found out the same result in the previous case also now let us take an important conclusion from this problem here what i did does i did a simple source transformation to convert the thevenin into the north end right so let me just put it here so this is vth all right and this was my RTH. All right. So what did I do to find ISC? All right. To find this particular current, the Norton current, I divided it by the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance. And of course, this again is the same thing only. I did. I did something like this, right? That means. The RTH value will be equal to ISC divided by VTH. This VTH is also equal to VOC, all right? And this ISC is equal to I north end. All right? Th that is understood. So this is a very important relation. All right? Oh, I just mixed it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just mixed it up here. So RTH, that's what happened when you get excited. So RTH is equal to VTH divided by ISC. Now this is a very important result, especially when you are having dependent sources. What it means is that to find RTH, in case you are not able to solve it using simple series or parallel connections, you find the Thevenin voltage, which is the open circuit voltage. You find the Norton current, all right, which is the short circuit current. You divide these two, you will get the RTH value. And that result is quite remarkable. And in competitive exams, usually they ask this particular uh, problems based on this particular relation only. That questions we will be seeing in the next lecture. So please stay tuned. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this lecture. Please like, share and subscribe the channel if you love these lectures. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.